Car dealers who do not charge huge MSRP markups, part two. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. This is part two of a video we did recently on dealers who are not marking up their new cars over MSRP. If you missed the first one, go back and check it out. We agreed that it wasn't long ago that new car prices were more along the lines of dealer invoice, less holdback, and other discounts. Well, we're in the midst of a car shortage right now, and most dealers are swindling their customers with huge markups. All right, let's get started pointing out some of the dealers around the country who are reportedly not gouging their customers. Liz, take it away. Well, I want to open with a comment from Sarah Sorensen about a used car dealer. Sarah writes, I had to buy a vehicle in March because insurance totaled our 2006 Toyota Sienna when I hit a deer. I know Ouch. how that feels. <laughs> we went to a place that sold only used vehicles and my husband couldn't come with me due to work. I think he had court that day. I gave myself so much anxiety thinking about the deal and the swindling that happens at dealerships that when they gave me the price plus only tax, title, and license fees, I nearly peed my pants. Wow. <laughs> they let me test drive without the salesman and I was in and out of their office in less than an hour in a 2018 Kia Sedona. No extras and no nonsense. They left me with my dignity and it was a great experience. That was Shamrock Auto Group in Pleasant Grove, Utah. Well done, Shamrock. Annie writes, couldn't say enough about Holiday Mazda in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Absolutely no pressure tactics and no markups on my 2022 CX-5 Carbon Edition. They definitely appreciate their customers and the entire staff is very welcoming. This was the 12th car I have purchased and I can honestly say the best buying experience I have ever had throughout the years. Well worth my 40 mile drive to the dealership. CJN reports, Johnson City Ford in Johnson City, Tennessee is amazing to work with over the phone and in person. Purchased five vehicles from them. After moving away, drove back 700 miles for number four and they delivered the fifth new car straight to my house. Tax tag, title, and delivery were cheaper than my local Ford dealership would give me without sales tax. Very nice. Mm -hmm. LW writes, so I had been watching your videos for a bit now Finally, my wife wanted to buy a new Toyota RAV TRD off and other dealers were marking them up five to nine K because of TRD, but our local dealer, City Toyota of Great Falls, Montana, didn't charge anything over MSRP. Great. George Merriweather says, drove from San Diego to Longo Toyota in El Monte because of local dealers, ADMs, additional dealer markups paid MSRP. Longo has actually showed up a few times. Yeah. All right. Tommy G writes, just bought a 2022 Hyundai Elantra SEL in Illinois at RC Hyundai. Not a penny over MSRP. And I got 3K over what I paid for my trade. The RC Hyundai is the leading dealer in Northern Illinois. Mike Vilchnig writes, Rodland Toyota Everett, Washington. MSRP. Short and sweet. Mm -hmm. Jason Fields reports, just bought a new 2022 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy at She Hyundai Waldorf, Maryland. Great salesman James at MSRP plus paint protection, 1200 with all other dealers in the surrounding areas charging $6,000 for market adjustment. Well, I would have done without the paint protection, but there you go. Okay. Mark Hall writes, went to Chicago Northside Toyota and they wanted 15000 above MSRP walked out and went to McGrath Subaru and bought a 2021 Crosstrek at MSRP. It was still on a boat from Japan, but they were very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Rog writes, Kia of Cherry Hill, New Jersey is adding 20,000 markups to every single vehicle on the lot, including a $21,000 Kia Soul, making it a $41,000 <laughs> Kia Soul. No way. <laughs> First of all, that car isn't worth anywhere close no. to that. And, and it's, ugly. it's an ugly ride. Yeah. <laughs> They were packed on a Tuesday and had several deliveries going on. So you see there's a lot of idiots out there in the, in the buying market. I left Kia and went straight to Audi of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. No markups at all. Genesis of Cherry Hill isn't charging over MSRP either. Way to go. Ernesto Ortega writes, Earl Stewart Toyota does not charge over MSRP and no dealer fees. They're located at 1215 North Federal Highway Number 1, Lake Park, Florida. And Tom Steckel echoes this recommendation too. He writes, please be sure to mention Earl Stewart Toyota of West Palm Beach. Nothing over MSRP and no dealer fees at all. Rare for Florida, indeed. We've heard a lot of good things about Earl Stewart from our commenters on the channel here. 
Britt Knowles writes, Milton Martin Toyota in Oakwood, Georgia, about 40 miles north of Atlanta, is selling at sticker and not a penny more. I have had a great experience with the pre-sale. The dealer has been great, showing respect for me with the process and easy financing. Once my truck arrived a day before promised, it took about an hour to complete financing and introduced me to all the accessories on my truck, and I was on my way. A frequent commenter here, Gubbs, thank you, writes, Jim Real Honda in Macomb County, Michigan on Hall Road. Does not sell over MSRP. Ask for Chris Doubletree. Great guy. Down to earth and no pressure. Thanks, Gubbs. All right. Fluger99 writes, I just bought a 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L with S package for MSRP. The finance person never brought up anything additional to purchase. The dealer is Alan Samuels in Waco, Texas. I highly recommend them. D. Sam writes, we discovered Longo Lexus in Almonte, California. Look, there they are There's again. There's Longo again. One of the largest in California, charges only MSRP. Purchased a 2022 RX 350. Expediting and courier driving with Big D reports, King Subaru in Cincinnati, Ohio gives top dollar for trade and no over MSRP prices. Nice. Levi Kaigwai writes, Mossy Nissan in Southern California, San Diego County. Does not have markups or ADM. Hyundai in Palm Springs, California sells MSRP. Victor DeJesus writes, I bought a new F-150 from Riata Ford in Manor, Texas, just outside of Austin. I paid MSRP and my salesman, AJ, said they wanted their customers to come back. That's the way to get customers to come back, be yep. fair. And we're not selling cars over MSRP. And they did not push me to buy anything in finance, gave me a fair trade, and it was not an all-day affair. Go see them if you're in the Austin area. Covert Ford in Austin was charging 5K over MSRP. Do not go there. Reverend Gunn reports, Beeman Toyota, Nashville, Tennessee. Didn't mark up my 2022 Camry while others in the area were charging as much as 2,500 or more. Mr. Juicebox writes, I'm from South Jersey and Point Buick GMC in, in Penns Grove, New Jersey was a great experience. Saw the great ratings on Google and decided to give them a try for a new Canyon that they had on their website. There was no markup. Dock fee was a little high, but I was able to negotiate it. Huh. There you go, you guys. Negotiate yeah. those dock fees out. And the finance manager was incredibly friendly and didn't pressure me at all. Gave me a fantastic rate, too. Also glad to see you looking much better, Kevin. My prayers are with you. Well, thank you very much. Aw. Outbacker writes, I just bought a new 2022 Hyundai Elantra from Goshen Motors in Goshen, Indiana. Bought for $500 under MSRP with incentive plus 0% APR for 48 months. You see, that's the manufacturer stepping in and making sure the dealers can offer great prices. No pressure to purchase extras, he says. The Xbox RN, I'm from El Paso, and I called out a Ford dealership for their markup and their justification for the markups. Long story short, I ended up at Hyundai of El Paso and got something I liked at MSRP. They're probably the only dealership in town doing this. <laughs> the Life Traveler 1 says, I recently ran into a Toyota car salesman here in Atlanta. I asked her about all the ridiculous markups. She said her particular dealership was very upset about the extreme markups on vehicles, so their policy is never to price a vehicle over 3900 above MSRP. I just looked at her and laughed. And laugh is what everyone should do to a dealer <laughs> selling over MSRP. Laugh and walk away. Well, it's a fair question to ask. Why would we publish a video about dealers not marking their cars up over MSRP when not long ago we were talking about dealer discounts, invoice prices, and holdback savings? Because we're in the midst of a car shortage, it can get really ugly out there with 5,000, 10,000, even 15,000 or more marked up. That is right. Well, that's a wrap on our show for today. Let us know about fair dealers in your area. We'll be happy to publish another edition with more dealers to consider. I want to take a moment to express my appreciation to those of you who had donated to my medical expenses. You are much appreciated. And Kevin, look, you aren't wearing oxygen today. Yeah, I actually got off oxygen recently here during the day. I still use it at night uh, because my oxygen numbers go down a little bit while I'm sleeping. Sure. But anyway, so yeah, finally off oxygen. Good for you. And if you'd like to donate towards Kevin's medical expenses, for your convenience, our staff has put the PayPal and Cash App links in the description box below. And right now, 100% of these donations from viewers are going directly to Kevin's medical expense. All right. If you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up. And please 
Always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends. And remember to comment with any dealer in your area not charging an MSRP markup. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.